What's up everyone and welcome back to the comms channel. Today's video is going to prepare us to do some of the more advanced things like setting up the ability for the administration of remote devices. Things like this can only be done via the Python command line interface and that's what we'll be setting up in this video. So join me as we dig into it. We're approaching a restricted area. Restricted area is one mile west. There's a lot of things you can do with the Python command line interface, and you can actually pretty much do all of the device configuration through this. There's also some other things that you can only do through the Python command line interface, and the remote administration of devices is one of them. Let's go through setting this up so we can do some of these more advanced things with Meshtastic. The first thing we need to do is to check to see if we have Python installed. If you're on Linux or Mac, you likely already have Python installed. I'm using Windows for this video, which doesn't usually have Python, so we'll need to check and make sure. To do this, click on the Start menu and type in PowerShell. Then click on PowerShell to go ahead and open it up. Then in this PowerShell window that opens up, we can type in python dash capital V, and then hit enter. If Python's installed, this should just output the current Python version. But in our case here, we see it says Python is not found. Now let's install Python by clicking on the start menu and start typing in the word store. And we should see the Microsoft store appear and then we can go ahead and click on that to open it up. In the search bar at the top here, type in Python and we should see a number of Python versions show up. Go ahead and click on Python 3.11 and then click on the Git button to install it. Then we'll see the progress in the Git button itself and it'll eventually disappear indicating that the installation is complete. We can now go ahead and close this window. Now back on the PowerShell window, we can run the Python-V command again. Now if we hit enter, we'll get the output with the currently installed version of Python. Now let's make sure that the Python package installer is installed by running the command pip3 dash capital V. This should output the version of pip3 that we have installed and it looks like we're good to go here. We're now ready to install what's needed for the Meshtastic Python command line interface. So first we'll need to install pytap by running the command pip3 install dash dash upgrade pytap and the number two. Once that's done installing, we can go and install Meshtastic by running the command pip3 install dash dash upgrade Meshtastic. So once that's done, the Meshtastic command line interface should now be installed. There's one more step we'll need to do, however, so Windows knows where it's located. In these yellow warnings we see here, we can see the path where it's installed. So what we need to do is highlight the path, with, which is everything between the single quotes like this. Once that's highlighted, just right-click on it to copy the path. And you won't get any prompts asking you to hit copy. It'll just remove the highlighting and that means it's copied. So next we need to provide the path to the Windows environment variables. And to do this, click on the start menu and start typing in the word environment. We should see this edit the system environment variables option here. So now let's go ahead and click on that to open it. Then we can click on the environment variables button on the bottom right of the window. Now click on path from the list of variables here. Then click on edit. Then click on new and paste in the path we copied here, and then hit OK. Then we can go and hit OK on the remaining two windows. Go ahead and close the PowerShell window as well, and then we'll open it back up so we have a fresh PowerShell session that's aware of the path settings that we just changed. Now we can test out the Meshtastic Python interface. Go ahead and hook up your device to your computer if you haven't already, and then we'll run the command Meshtastic dash dash get LoRa. And after a few seconds, we can see here that we have the current LoRa settings of the device I have plugged into the computer here. So with that, we've confirmed that the Meshtastic Python command line interface is working. 
If we go to the Meshtastic docs page, we can see there's a long list of commands that can be run to configure and manage devices. And I'll include a link to this doc page with all this info in the video description below. That'll do it for this video for installing the Meshtastic Python command line interface, and I hope you found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and then subscribe if you haven't already done so, so you won't miss out on the upcoming video where we put the command line interface to use and set up the remote management of remote devices. Thank you all and have a good one. <laughs>